Hi guys, I am Ankit in this video, we shall see another problem on lead code. Sort array by parity part 2. So in the previous video, we had seen the same sort array by parity part 1 where we have to sort the array. Like the beginning of the array should contain the even integers followed by the odd integers. But here in this given question, what they have told is half of the integers in the array are even and other half is odd. And our task is sort the array so that whenever you have array of i is odd, then i is odd. And array of i is even when i is even. That means in the given example, if you check 4, 2, 5, 7. So let's uh, write the index 0, 1, 2, and 3. Is 0 even or odd? It's even. So the element at this position, 0th position, should be even. Is 1 is even or odd? It is odd. So the element at this position should be odd, not even. 2 is even. This is not correct. Then if you move to 2, it is an even, right? So the element in this position should be even, but then we have odd. So even this is also not correct. Next, you go to the third position means, yes, the element at this position should be odd because 3 is odd, i is odd. So yes, 7 is odd. So this is at the correct position. So this is what we need to handle. We have to place even integers in the even position, odd integers in the odd position. And one more condition, what they have to is, it contains exactly even num and odd number equal equal number of even and odd integers uh, that means half of the array will be even other half will be odd so that if you have the index if the length is 4 we will have 4 index 0 1 2 3 in that 2 will be even other 2 will be odd so 2 even integers we have in the array 2 odd integers we have in the array that is what they mean from this so what is the approach to solve the problem so one thing is uh, proof is like you keep traversing the array check whether it is even or odd and then um, even you add it to the even array or you add it to the odd array. Then again you traverse in the resultant array. At the even position you add, keep on adding the even integer. At the odd position keep on adding the odd integer. That is a normal proof for approach. But the other approach what we can use is two pointer approach here. And one more thing in the resultant they have told. Only condition is at the even position even integers odd position odd integers. They have not told us to maintain the relative order whatever they are in the original array. Now they have not asked for such any um, question. So you could say this also can be answered because if you see 4 and 2 they are even, 4, 2, 4, even, 2, 4, even. All the their positions are, positions are different but positions means the ordering is different but they are at the even position that is correct. 7, 5 should be at the odd position though you could say 5 is 7, here 7, 5. The relative order must be different, it's okay but it should be in the correct position. That means odd integer should be in the odd position, even integer should be in the even position. That is the only task which we need to handle. So what we'll do is two-pointer approach as we had uh, performed in the previous problem also. There we had a point of in the beginning and end of the array. Uh, I'll add the link of that video in the description box. Please do check it out. Check it out. So you'll get to know. So in that part one, what we had to do is we kept the pointer in the beginning and one in the end because as we said, beginning of the array should be even integers and end of the array should be odd integers. That's the reason. But here what they tell is at the even position, even integer should be there, or position, or integer should be there. So we'll have a two pointers. So as you know, beginning zeroth position is a even position. So we will have a pointer for even. And two, at uh, this position, first position this is odd. So we'll indicate this as an odd pointer. So even is pointing to zero, odd is pointing to one. Okay, now start iterating. Now check now. First we have to check for the even number. So is this uh, the element at this position zero is even or odd? It's even. Yes, it is even. So we can increment the even. Where you go to what position you increment the even? To the next even position that will be e plus c equals to. Why? First position will not increment it because e indicating even, not odd, odd position. So we have to increment that to the next even position that will be 2. Again, check whether 5 is even or odd. It is odd. But the element at this point should be even. So stop the loop here. So once done with even, now we have to replace it with odd actually. Uh, replace this odd with an even number but before doing that we will check now the odd position number also so one this is odd but the element at this position is even so is this okay no this is not okay so stop the loop here also so now you swap these two numbers as we did in the previous problem swap these two numbers so swapping these two numbers all it will give you as i said how do you swap in a temporary we store two first okay we will store two in the temporary now you can modify this position by 5. 
So array of odd will be equal to array of even. Now array of even will be equal to array of odd, but it is being stored in the temp. So that is temp is a temp. So this gets modified to 2 and 5. Now we have solved. Is it correct now? Odd position, odd integer, even position, even integer. Okay. Now again run the loop. Check even. So is it even at this position? Even um, is pointed to even number? Yes, it is. So point it to the next even number, which is of the which should be fourth index actually, but it is not present. So it will be pointing out of range now. So stop the loop here. So in the uh, looping condition what you have to give one we have, one we have to check whether the given number at that even pointer is pointed to is even or odd it is if it is even then increment the pointer only if that even is less than n n is the limit length of the array okay then odd also should be less than n similarly so now check whether odd five yes it is correct so increment the odd next odd position seven yes even that is also odd increment the odd next odd position so it's it's out of bound now odd and even are so stop the loop. Now do we need to do any swapping? No. So for swapping also before swapping we have to check whether R is less than N and E1 is less than N. Only if these two satisfies only then you do the swapping. Here what we are doing. Here need not to do performance. So once it is out of bound, you need not to perform anything. So that's it. We have again written the I don't know 4, 5, 2, 7. And so you could see 4 and 5 are at correct even positions. 5 and 7 are at odd position. It is correct. So this is the logic. So in the previous problem, we had a pointer beginning and end of the array because we need even integers followed by odd. But here we need alternate even and odd corresponding to ith position. If i is odd, odd integer. i is even, even integer. So corresponding, you keep a pointer and keep on incrementing the value. So first, let's say size, we will initialize it to n, then even pointing to 0 position and odd pointing to first odd position that is at the 1 index. And the question they have told minimum length is 2, so we don't have to worry about that. So, why even less than n and or less than n? So, first you have to check while even less than n and sums of even modulus 2. If it is equal to 0, then even should be incremented. Similarly, for or also you have to check sums of or modulus 2 if it is not equal to 0 if that is odd only you have to keep incrementing the odd pointer yeah plus c equals to 2 it should be not plus plus because to the next even position and next odd position right will not move to this pointer even to here no it will not move it will move from here to next even position yes so once done with this check if both even is less than n and odd is less than n only then do the swapping. So for swapping, we create a temporary variable. We will store nums of e1 in that. Now we can modify nums of e1 to nums of or. Since nums of or is stored in nums of e1, now let's modify nums of or to nums of e1, which is being stored in tab. So that's it. Return the array nums. Why do we need to check this? Because here, you, if you see, let's say both are out of range, so that is the reason we have to check at each point for odd or less than n, for even, even less than n. And you do swapping, both you have to check. So we should run this. Yeah, and for Java, also the same logic, nothing changes in this, same logic, only length we do. So we shall submit this also. Yes, successfully submitted. If you understood the concept, please please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'll come up with another video in the next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.